Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to automatically log into your Mac OS Sierra user account. So pretty straightforward, so if you have multiple accounts on your computer and you really only want to log into one by default, this brief tutorial will be for you guys and it will walk you through how to do it. So pretty straightforward tutorial I have in store for you guys today. And we're going to start by actually heading up to the top left and left clicking on the Apple icon. And then you want to go and left click on System Preferences, which should be the second item in this drop down menu. Once we're in the System Preferences window, left click on Users and Groups on the bottom left. On the left side here, left click on the Login Options button. If this is grayed out, left click on the area down here that says click the lock to make changes. So click the lock. You're going to have to insert your password. So click on lock. And now that these options are not grayed out anymore, underneath automatic login, or I should say next to automatic login, click the, the drop down or pointing up arrows over here and select which user account you want to automatically log into. And then you're going to have to insert the password again for that account. Click on OK. Once you're done doing that, click this lock icon again at the bottom left corner of this window. That'll lock and save our changes. Now in the event that you want to switch accounts while you are currently set to automatically log into one particular account, all you have to do is just go up to the Apple icon on the top left, log out of whatever user you are set to automatically log into. So let's say I log out right here. And at this point you can switch user accounts if you had other ones on the device. However, since I only have one, this is the only one that I have to worry about. So just to give you guys an idea, and then at this point you would switch into the other account, of course, if you didn't already pick up on that. But pretty straightforward tutorial. I hope this did help you guys out. I hope it sped up your computer loading experience a little bit. And I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.